Welcome to the last part of the Ozeki Camera SDK tutorial series on computer vision. This is the fifth, final part of our tutorial series. The topic of this part is barcode scanning. In this video, you will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how does a barcode scanning application works. Let's start with what is a barcode scanner used for and uh, why is it worth using? The barcode scanner function is a great help in corporate environment. It is useful if you have a storage check and you would like to follow the expensive equipment. You can use the barcode scanner function for numbering the items. It is also used for supervising, detecting and identifying the items and tools which can be found in limitless <coughs> amount in the warehouse. Barcode scanning is also used for the inspection of packages which are sent by an express delivery company and packaging of medicinal products. For the implementation of computer vision solutions shown in this series, you will need to use the Ozaki Camera SDK software. It is good to know that this software is OnWith compliant. Plus a great advantage of the software is that it is easy to use and in addition, it is an all-purpose tool. You don't have to be an expert in C-sharp development to be able to implement the solutions presented in this video. For the implementation, you will need the followings. A Windows computer, .NET framework, Visual Studio, some kind of camera for the testing of the application, and the Ozeki Camera SDK. Once you have them, you are ready to start the fun. First, we need to download the Ozeki Camera SDK from the www.camera-sdk.com website. On the home page, you click on the download menu. Then you click on the link and fill in the form with your name and email address. Once the download is ready, we install the software. The installation is pretty simple. You just need to click on the next button, then install. The installation will take a couple of minutes though. When the installation is done, you click on the finish button and here we can see the Ozeki Camera SDK software product running on our computer. Now you need to open the Visual Studio. After opening the Visual Studio project, you have to add the VoIP SDK.dll to the references. You can do it in the Solution Explorer. Click on the references, right click and add references. Here you can uh, select uh, the VoIP SDK.dll. On the web page, we can see where can we find this example. Now I open uh, the example in the example folder. Since we have all the necessary tools for the implementation, we are ready to start the exciting part. Let's see the code. First of all, we have to add the Ozeki Media Media Handlers Video CV Barcode Data Namespace. Then, in the public partial class, we should provide the global variables. First, we should provide the web camera instance. This instance is responsible for getting the image of the camera. Then, we have the media connector, which connects to the media handlers. After that, the image process handler, which operates with the instance on the incoming video. There is a frame capture feature here as well. 
we use the frame capture component, which is responsible for not running the detection on each and every frame. Now let's see the buttons on the GUI. When I click on the connect button, the button connect click method will be called. In this method, we will create an instance for the default camera device and connect it to the GUI. By clicking on the start button, we start the detecting of the display cam camera image. This method adds the barcode reader object to the image process handler, which will process the received image. When the camera detects a barcode, then the barcode reader USB cam detection occurred method will be called. When the, this method is called, the detected barcode will be written in the text box found on the GUI. By clicking on the clear button, all the detected barcodes shown in the GUI will be deleted. By clicking on the stop button, this method will be called, which will stop the detection of the barcodes on the image of the camera. If we have a button for the connection, we should get a button with which we can disconnect from the camera as well. For this task, we should get the following part. When we click on the disconnect button, the button disconnect uh, click method will be called. Now I'm gonna connect the USB camera to my computer and then test the application. I click on the connect button and here we can see the image of the camera. And now I start uh, the detection. and the barcode is detected. I stop the detection. And then I clear the detected barcode. And finally I disconnect the camera. Now our last video ends. If you are interested in other great solutions, go check out our website. On the www.camera-sdk.com, you will find documentations and free source codes, which can help in the implementation of these computer vision solutions. Here you can also get the trial version of this camera software development kit. Plus you can find and follow our tutorial videos here. If you have any questions in connection with the software or the examples, then feel free to send us an email with your inquiries to the info at camera-sdk.com. We will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video series and found inspiration for the implementation of computer vision solutions.